Uh, hi everyone. Uh, in this tutorial, we will be discussing about customer segmentation. I will give you an overview of what customer segmentation is and why is it used. And then uh, another thing that I will do is I will be walking you through an implementation of customer segmentation in Python. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, this tutorial is, div uh, is divided into four, four parts. Uh, initially, we'll discuss what is customer segmentation, why it is used, and what are the types of customer segmentation. Then we'll have a look at a very specific problem statement, which will be based on an e-commerce dataset. And uh, the solution uh, to this problem statement would be uh, carried out through uh, cust implementing customer segmentation. Then we, we'll, in the third part of this tutorial, we'll discuss that how do we go about solving the problem statement. And the fourth part of part of the video is the implementation of the solution approach in Python. The fourth part of this video we'll be discussing in another uh, uh, tutorial. And for this tutorial, I'll and I'll be just discussing part one, two, and three. Uh, so let's get started. Now, what exactly it is customers? So it's a, a very simple thing. Uh, it is just dividing up your customers into different groups. And these groups may be uh, may depend on uh, n number of factors. Some can be, uh, uh, let's say, on demographic factors such as age and geographical location. So it can be uh, a lot of these uh, uh, various ways in which we can divide our customer groups, which is known as customer segmentation. Okay. Uh, we'll also talk about like what are these different ways in one uh, in one of the upcoming slides. Uh, so why is customer segmentation done? So uh, when you own a business, so you need to cater to every specific customer group uh, differently so that you can extract the maximum profit out of your customers, right? So that will be a challenge and uh, that will basically the businesses that, carry, uh, that that cater very in a very personalized way to every customer group, they will be able to extract the maximum profit from the customers, which is sort of the ultimate goal of every business right so uh, the so so that was the first point that uh, learning about your customers on a deeper level and then we can create also targeted campaigns specifically for uh, specific customer groups one example i'll like to give about targeted campaigns is for example you have uh, meat shoppers and non meat shoppers uh, okay then uh, for non meat shoppers you would know to not uh, send them any content related to shopping meat, right? So you can um, tweak the content that you are uh, supplying to your uh, customers when you know like which customer segment do they fall in, okay? Then uh, uh, some of you can have a pause the entire video and have a look at some of these uh, other uh, points that I've mentioned here as well. And also like the fifth point I like to highlight is like understanding who your most valuable customer group is so that uh, we know like what are low value high value and medium value customers are so that we can accordingly build more promotions and uh, build more campaigns according to their uh, separate value segment okay uh, so going ahead like how what, what are the different types of customer segmentation so here i've listed on uh, four categories of uh, customer segmentation now there can be some other categories as well but I here I've tried to include as much as I can so earlier as I was mentioning uh, like we have demographics we have uh, geography such as country city and then uh, then customers can be separated uh, on behavioral aspects as well one example would be like which purchase bracket do they fall in do they usually make uh, purchases of low value do they usually make purchases of higher value then there is a buyer stage as well. So buyer stage may be, let's say, a new customer. Then there's a customer who is already loyal. Then there might be a churned out customer. So uh, depending upon which uh, area does the customer fall in, we can segment uh, our entire customer base on these various aspects. Now, like which, which of these types to choose would depend on what the exact business problem is that we are trying to solve. Okay. so i'll try to take one example here and let's say uh, that uh, a new product has been launched but that product is not being bought or like as it as was expected so your manager tells you that find out that why is this product not being sold 
so we'll try to understand okay uh, like which customer we will try to identify the customer groups where it is not being sold as much as was expected so we can like segment our customers based on geography and try to understand okay out of these uh, five different geographical location is there any specific geographical location where it is uh, being sold less or where it is being sold more we can do this or is there a particular age group where it is not being uh, sold as much is there a particular income group where it is not uh, it is not being sold as much so depending on a different problem statement you would like to segment your customers on uh, like uh, uh, different aspects right so that was uh, mostly all about customer segmentation the theoretical basis that you needed so now we'll have a look at a specific problem statement and we'll try to discuss the solution of this problem statement too okay so uh, this is the problem statement which says come up with the framework to flag high value medium value and low value customers this is why i highlighted the fifth point in the previous to previous slide that which was related to value okay so now uh, when we talk about customer value so that itself is a very vast uh, uh, problem statement that how do you identify uh, like which customers are high low value and medium value so here what i've done is i've used uh, so let's talk about the uh, uh, data available first okay uh, and after that we'll talk about that how do we go about segmenting we segmenting these customers on high low and medium value okay so the data set uh, this is the link i would provide this link in my description as well and uh, uh, the data that is available to us looks something like this where we have uh, invoice id we have a code of the product we have product description so this is like a basic uh, retail uh, e-commerce data set where we have orders we have the items in the order we have the customer id the price and sales and the geographical location that's the data that is available to us now let us try to think with respect to the problem that is given and the data that is available like what sort of solution can we build so here I've used a very traditional way to uh, de define uh, segments when it when the talk is about defining customer value. So customer value can traditional. So there are a lot of ways to do it. This is just one way of doing it. Okay. So the way that I'm proposing here is that we have these three things. One is recency, frequency, and the third is monetary, which tells us the recency would be that how recent is the customer is frequency would be that how often does the customer shop and monetary is what is the purchasing power of the customer so if a customer is very recent and he buys the product more, more frequently and he buys of a very high value then that customer itself becomes a very high value customer for us okay but if the customer is not recent like the, his last shop he did was five years ago if he makes only one two shops in like let's say two three years and if he buys products that are of like very low value, if his total purchase value is like low, that means that customer is not that valuable to our business. So we'll use these three metrics and we'll try to uh, like uh, come up with a way uh, to seg. Uh, so, okay, uh, so here the way is here itself. Uh, we will initially create these three metrics, then we will uh, try to uh, apply a, a clustering algorithm on these three metrics. And therefore, like after applying that plus plus ten algorithm, we'll try to identify uh, three groups, which are high, medium, and low. And I would like to advise you to just uh, go a basic tutorial on k-means clustering, so you'll get an idea as to what exactly we are talking about here. But here, I'll only stick to the business aspect and the implementation of uh, the, the clustering uh, algorithm. Uh, so, uh, what it would basically be like is on the so as we have three elements so recency frequency on monetary so we'll actually have three axes your x y and z and on those x y and z we will plot individual customers and then we'll try to see uh, like okay which customer is high medium and low value okay so uh, that was all everyone for this video in the next uh, upcoming tutorial we'll be discussing the implementation of this uh, entire k-means clustering approach in python thank you everyone